Hello Willow class, I'm going to read you a story and to help me today I've got my friend Ruby Rabbit. So hello Ruby Rabbit, hello Willow class and I'm going to read you I Don't Want to Go to Bed. Now I bet there's a few of you in Willow class that says this to mummy and daddy. Right, here we go. Little tar Tiger was very naughty. He did not like going to bed. Every night when Mummy Tiger said, Bedtime! Little Tiger would say, But I don't want to go to bed. Little Tiger wouldn't let Mummy Tiger clean his face and paws and he wouldn't listen to his bedtime story. One night Mummy Tiger lost her temper. When Little Tiger said, I don't want to go to bed. Mummy Tiger roared, All right, you can stay up all night then. Little Tiger couldn't believe his good luck. He scampered off into the jungle before Mummy Tiger could change her mind. Little Tiger went to visit his best friend, Little Lion. When he arrived, Little Lion was having his ears washed. It's bedtime, growled Daddy Lion. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger, and he skipped off into the jungle before Daddy Lion could wash his ears too. Little Tiger decides to visit his second best friend, Little Hippo. He found him splashing in the river, having a bedtime bath. It's bedtime, bellowed Daddy Hippo. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, Little Tiger said, and he scurried off into the jungle before Daddy Hippo could give him a bath too. Little Elephant was Little Tiger's third best friend. He went to visit him next. Little Elephant was not out playing. He was in bed listening to his bedtime story. It's bedtime, trumpeted Mummy Elephant. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger, and he bounced off into the jungle before Mummy Elephant could put him to bed too. Little Tiger thought he would go and find Little Monkey, his fourth best friend, but he found Mummy Monkey first. She put a finger to her lips and whispered, Little Monkey is fast asleep. Why are you still up? I don't want to go to bed, Little Tiger whispered back. Quickly, he tiptoed into the jungle before Mummy Monkey made him fall asleep too. Little, little Tiger didn't know where to go next. It was the first time he had been on his own in the jungle so late. Even the sun had gone to bed. Suddenly, it seemed very dark. What was that? Little Tiger looked up and saw two very large yellow eyes staring back at him. The eyes belonged to a bush baby. Shouldn't you be in bed? she asked. I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger bravely. You haven't. That's because I go to bed when the sun rises, said Bush Baby. Fancy going to bed in the lovely sunshine, thought Little Tiger. He shivered and thought how cold and dark it was in the jungle at night. I'm going to take you home, said, said Bush Baby. Your mummy and daddy will be worried about you. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go to bed, said Little Tiger. But he didn't want to be left alone in the dark either. So Little Tiger followed Bush Baby through the jungle. He was glad of her big bright eyes to show him the way back home. We're nearly there, said Bush Baby, as Little Tiger's steps became slower and slower. I don't want to, <sighs> said Little Tiger sleepily, dragging his paws. 
Ah, oh, there you are, said Mummy Tiger, just in time for bed. I don't want to. <sighs> yawned Little Tiger, and he fell fast asleep. Mummy Tiger tucked him up and then turned to Bush Baby. But the den was empty. Bush Baby had disappeared into the jungle before Mummy Tiger could tuck her up too. The end.